Today's update on Sophie. We're diving into the latest developments, SEC filings, and everything else that's been happening with Sophie over the past couple of days. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, alert this is not a financial advice video. First off, I hope everyone had a fantastic 4th of July two days ago. I'm sure it was filled with barbecues, fireworks, and all the usual festivities. It was a bit of a downer that the market was closed, especially since Sophie was riding a wave of positive momentum from Wednesday's trading, even though it was a shorter day. But we can look forward to the continuation of that momentum today. Now, let's get into the latest SEC filings. Two days ago, after hours, there was an 8K filing submitted at 4.05 p.m. This filing revealed that two new individuals have been appointed to the Audit Committee of Sophie's Board of Directors, and their terms will last until the 2025 annual meeting. While I typically don't delve too deeply into the specifics of board members, it's useful information for those who do. Essentially, this update isn't a significant reason to buy or sell Sophie stock, just something to be aware of. On another note, Anthony Noto shared some exciting news. Sophie has been listed as the safest bank in the U.S. by The Motley Fool for July 2024. Sophie holds the top spot in these rankings, based on various criteria like FDIC insurance and overall stability. Despite a few drawbacks, such as fees for withdrawals at third-party retailers and the absence of physical branch locations, the advantages are substantial. High annual percentage yields of pies, no monthly or overdraft fees, a large fee-free ATM network, and numerous member benefits are some of the highlights. Currently, Sophie offers a 4.6% a pie and $2 million in FDIC coverage. These factors contribute to the belief that Sophie is undervalued compared to other banks. The stock has faced some challenges due to market manipulation and other factors. As of now, 18.19% of the free float is being shorted which translates to about 188.82 million shares. Utilization sits at 67.93%. In the next few trading days, we might see an uptick in Sophie's stock price. At the moment, the cryptocurrency market is experiencing a pullback, possibly because investors are moving their funds to equities. This shift is likely influenced by Nancy Pelosi's recent purchase of 10,000 NVIDIA shares despite the stock being up 202% over the past year. This could be an indication that NVIDIA and the broader market might continue to rise, which could positively impact Sophie as well. In the last few trading days, Sophie has gained considerable momentum. Interestingly, Sophie was previously considered a meme stock and was among the top 10 in that category. Fortunately, the market has recognized Sophie's profitability and positive direction, so it's no longer listed as a meme stock. Currently, GameStop, Tilray, and Rivian are among the top meme stocks. Sophie's current meme score is 81, with a Wall Street Bets score of 88 and a Fails to Deliver score of 74. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I see this as a positive sign that investors are recognizing Sophie's true value. I just wanted to hop on here to wish you all a happy 4th of July, share some recent updates, and discuss Sophie's potential for continued growth. Right now, Sophie's stock closed exactly at $6.50, with 17,000 open interest at the $6.50 strike price and 21,000 at the $7 strike price. If Sophie manages to close above $6.50, we can see market makers buying around 1.7 million shares next Monday. This number might increase by Friday, so we'll have to wait and see. All in all, Sophie is showing promising signs of a strong reversal. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.